Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'd Allah reminds us not to cheat other people In Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 29 he says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la ta'kulu amwalakum baynakum bil batil illa an takuna tijaratan an taradim minkum He says you who believe Don't wrongfully consume each other's wealth, but trade by mutual consent, right? Basically, don't rip one another off. Whenever you barter, whenever you exchange, whenever you buy and sell, do it with mutual consent. Make sure that both parties are agreeable to this. So this is what Allah is basically saying. Allah is saying that you need to be very careful when it comes to your dealings with others, when it comes to your economic transactions. If, you, if you're claiming to believe, then act like a believer. That's what it means, you who believe. Act like a true believer. Don't lie on your timesheet at work. It's not okay for you to take that extended lunch break and then not report it, right? You have to be careful. If you're a mechanic, somebody comes to you and says, you know what, oh, I think there's a problem. Can you diagnose it? And you're like, oh, not only that, I can charge them for these two or three other things and say that they're required to be fixed. They need to be fixed, but they actually don't need to but you just needed a little extra pocket money or whatever it is. Don't do those type of things. We have to be very careful to whatever contract we have, whatever, uh, every time someone is trusting us with something, we need to make sure that we're being 100% honest. And also, this idea, this concept of mutual consent, right? Once you've agreed to a contract, you consented to it, You can't sit there and complain and say, well, it's not fair, the person duped me and this and that. If there's no deception involved whatsoever, you made a commitment, you're also on the other side, you accepted it, you have to live with that contract as well. You made a promise, they made a promise, That's the, it becomes binding now. So this concept is the basis and foundation of Islamic civilization. And not only that, not only did it make you know these economic rules of just First of all, it's moral rules of just being honest and not being deceptive, but also the economic system of making sure that people are not being deceived. Make sure people have proper consent, not that little shady, you know, fine print that people cannot figure out. And then you have to, you know, we have to have all these lawsuits basically saying, oh, well, these students, they didn't understand that they were signing up for this this debt, they didn't know that they have to pay all this money back because all the wording was unclear. Or you know, the person who bought this product, they didn't know it had all these side effects and everything like that. This idea of deception should be removed. The little fine print where you can kind of get away with it, that's not the moral aspect of Islam. And one of the great things about Islamic history has been that many people entered into Islam because of the way in which Muslims behaved when it came to business. If you look at places like Malaysia, look at Indonesia, you look at people down the coast of Africa, how did all those people, how did today they're Muslim majority countries? No army ever set foot into those regions. So how did all those people accept Islam? It was through trade. Because they saw the Muslims, wow, these Muslims are really honest people. Whatever they say, I mean, they really take, their, they really take honesty very seriously. The way that they behave when it comes to economics is just amazing. People were so impressed, they said, we want to know what, what, what motivates them to do that. They realized, hey, it's the Quran. Hey, it's the religion of Islam. This is a beautiful religion. So we should make sure that we fulfill the greatest things, the, all aspects of our religion and the, and the aspects that actually have a difference and convey the message of Islam to people, to, un, to let them understand what the beauty of Islam really is. This is something amazing. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the people who are honest and never cheat others in any way, shape or form. Ameen.